before the video gets started i want to let you guys know i am aware of the iLoot game situation i will make a statement on it i know you guys are waiting so many people have spammed me asking if i'm gonna make a statement on it yes i will i will talk about it in my next video but this video was mostly recorded yesterday and none of this drama had happened before then but yeah i just want to put that out there before the video gets started and before you guys wonder but like i said there are two situations that i want to explain before you see the clip so that you don't get this mixed up now he is talking about going on strike Leave all of that in there. I've got to get more stuff for this. What's up, gamers? I hope you're all doing well. You guys saw my video yesterday, and boy, was it a banger. That was a cool transition, editor. I hope you capitalized on that one. No, but in all seriousness, you guys probably did see my video yesterday. If you guys haven't, basically, I'll keep you up to date. Apex fans and pros are going on strike for Apex Ranked. I'm basically now going to tell you what's gone on since then. But I'm also going to give you guys my normal video. We've got some other stuff to talk about. Possibly going to see the most favorite mechanic in the game right now. Maybe removed in the future. We're not 100% sure, but it looks like things will go that way. But there's a little bit of an ultimatum up for debate. You have to let me know what you think about that as we get into part of the video. Also, as you guys know, the Genesis Collection event did drop today. Don't forget, we are giving away the Revenant Heirloom over on Twitter. The link is down in the description where you can go participate in the giveaway. But we also got some news with the collection event itself. More on that in just a couple of minutes. And our Golden Nugget section today is a bit sad as someone has left Apex for good and Apex streaming for good, but it wasn't for the reason that you might think it was. All right, so before we get into the video, make sure to click like, Make sure to subscribe. I cannot talk, dude. All right, so before we get into the video, make sure to click like, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I've retaken this part literally five times in a row. In a row. Okay. Before we get into the video, make sure to. I'm. Uh, oh, okay. Please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. I've said this six times already and I've messed up every single one. I'm having to reshoot this at this point. Just please do it and let's get this over with. All right, so if you've clicked like and subscribe, we can now get into the video. Let's start it off. Man, <laughs> these people. <laughs> this dude still ain't like the video or subscribe. <sighs> and before we get in the video, I gotta ask, why didn't you click like or subscribe? All right, so first off, you guys probably know what happened yesterday. If you don't, I'll let you guys go watch my old video. The card will be right here. You can also click the link down in the description or at the very end of the video, there's a link to it on the end screen. You can also go watch it there. But an update to that is this. So I had to do a little bit of research because I was confused as to what they were talking about. Ryan Rigney said, please hold us accountable, but also when we communicate, take it in good faith. The team genuinely wants to solve this. It's difficult, but it can be easier if we keep open lines of communication. We've heard this before, nothing new there. But Snipedown replied and said, we know the Apex team cares, but like I stated before, it's hard to take the words in good faith when the two things that we were told, new hires and DDoS ban prevention, both did not happen. Then we have perfectly timed tweet about these issues because it was leaked, we were addressing this. Now, this is where I had to do a little bit of research. So apparently Snipedown is saying that someone has leaked this out about them doing this strike so all of these creators all of these pros all of these streamers got together and basically agreed to do this strike that's why you see a lot of people participating in this strike it wasn't just something that rogue did it wasn't just something that sweet did basically they got together and said this person will make the tweet we will all comment on it we will all do this we will all get behind this now when this happened all of a sudden about five minutes before sweet dreams tweeted that we got this tweet from respawn saying this the respawn team is pursuing several options to crack down on cheating in apex how ironic hiring more people to focus on manual bans developing more tools to automatically detect and stop ddos attacks and investigating ways to more quickly catch and remove cheaters from the games playing against cheater sucks we'll keep you updated as we ship the above changes to pursue the new ones people were excited and obviously so when respawn says stuff like this it's always something a little bit it gives you a little bit of motivation right it does but people have been a little bit concerned as far as this being calculated a lot of people were not happy because this conveniently just came five minutes before the protest tweets came out so a lot of people were saying that this got leaked somewhere and that this tweet is not true, that it's only here to rest people's minds and put them at ease. Now, I have to say, I don't know if that is true, but it is very, very ironic that they made this tweet like exactly on point to what this twit longer was about, what this protest was about, what this strike was about. 
it's just very ironic that they made it literally right before it went live it could be a coincidence it most definitely could and i don't put it past especially ryan i mean i, I feel like ryan is a very honest guy he even replied to snipe down saying i don't know what leak you're referring to we've seen a ton of chatter about cheating here on twitter which is why we decided to post so he's saying that the post actually just came from people talking on twitter and had nothing to do with this protest being leaked out like i said it is a bit weird that it just ironically came literally five minutes before it i don't know what to say let me know in the comments what you think about it and like i said if you have no idea what's going on here i'll leave a link down in the description when you go watch my video yesterday and you can read everything that happened long story short there's a protest going on right now with pretty much every youtuber every twitch streamer every pro player to not play apex ranked until they fix the cheater issues so as you guys know the event came out today the genesis collection event and so far things look to be pretty well we actually also had a pretty good response for the save apex movement a lot of people have been talking about save apex ranked and even the developers themselves are saying that this is motivating as they can tell that the people and fans care but regardless of that people seem to really be enjoying the old maps of world's edge and king's canyon and people also seem to be enjoying the revenant heirloom i'm actually opening these on stream today so make sure if you haven't seen my stream i might be streaming as you're watching this video honestly so make sure to go check it out if you catch me while i'm live you can even rewind and watch me open the packs but now that the event is out and most people seem to be enjoying it let me know down in the comments what poi you're most excited to drop in i will say honestly the one i'm most excited for has been bridges on king's canyon and obviously skull town all right coming into our third topic today we have dow touche taking it to twitter and being a controversial probably as usual i mean dow touche is no stranger to controversy and dow touche said this i'm gonna say it tab strafing needs to go a lot of people have been saying this here recently some people have been backing it up some people have been defending it but a lot of people have been saying it needs to go as well and i'm starting to slowly believe that it might just need to go the reason i say that is because it doesn't seem like something that was meant to be in the game it seems like something that someone is using i guess to say like an exploit against the game's engine i don't really think it was designed to be an apex it just happened to be discovered and so considering they moved out b hop healing i think this will probably come in the near future a lot of people that seem to be complaining about the tap strafe happen to be controller players oh that's good that's good yeah shoot that guy in the face Kyle. Yeah, nice. obviously so because it's pretty much impossible to do on the controller and i think that if it is possible it's just extremely extremely hard so a lot of people that are on pc have been rising up though and trying to defend tap strafing and saying this if we're going to get rid of tap strafing then we need to nerf aim assist here's what nakoko puffs had to reply in the dow too she said aim assist goes to 0.3 and then we lose tap strafe a fair deal in my opinion now if you're on console you get 60 percent aim assist if you're on pc using controller you get 40 percent aim assist that's a 20 percent different which is actually 50 percent more aim assist on console than what is on pc so let me know what you guys think of that decision down below would you like to see tap strafing removed and if you don't like it removed what do you think about maybe settling in the middle somewhere by nerfing aim assist with the addition of removing tap strafe? Imperial Howe also had the same thing to say, saying they'll definitely remove it considering them removing bunny hop healing and other things I can't think of right now, but it is what it is. Casuals for the win. Now you guys know this, they always cater to the casuals. I will have to say that even though I think tap strafing might need to be removed because it just doesn't seem like something that was supposed to be in the game it does always seem like every time we get some kind of new advanced mechanic that apex always wants to remove it because it makes it too hard for the casuals to keep up with all right so coming in at the golden nugget section of the video we've got one golden nugget this one actually is a bit upsetting but i mean i don't really know what's going on entirely with this guy but basically you guys might know johnny jetski he's got 41,000 followers on twitter pretty big guy it's involved in apex pretty heavily and he said i've been given a huge opportunity that i simply can't pass up on so i won't be playing apex or streaming anymore as i simply won't have the time thank you to everyone who supported me the past few years i love you all now what's so sad about this many of you may have known or watched him i actually knew of him because of nice wig and a lot of people just seem to really be upset just because it came out of nowhere it wasn't something that we necessarily expected out of johnny but obviously he had a lot of support in the comments nice wig rogue yuris bronzy and pvp from cloud nine down to reckon all of those guys were replying just with their support this guy was pretty well known if you guys did not know him then you missed out on a treasure but fortunately enough he did not leave i don't think because of apex being in a bad state so it's nothing too dramatic Dramatic, but it is the loss of i guess you would say a king all right guys let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or any future thoughts about any of the topics that were spoken of today if you guys have any further stories regarding these as well maybe they go even deeper than what i'm seeing let me know down in the comments below dm me on twitter follow me on twitter dm me on discord join my discord i've got so many outlets that you guys can reach out to me i go through all of them so if you guys don't get a reply trust me i have read them and it might just take me a little bit to reply so let me
me know if you guys have any other stories any other questions and comments down below make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel i'll see you all in the next one gotta take my puppy to the vet if you guys haven't seen the puppy he was in the past video go check him out i'll see you all later vibe or die only pop why do i do that that is so cringe i am so cringe but it's vibe or die only positivity peace out guys have a great day enjoy the event go get your revenant heirloom actually no go enter my gift let me shut up peace out guys Oh, 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 oh,